Welcome back guys to another beer review. Uh, this is actually part two of the weird beer style video thing that I, I, I started last week. Uh, last week we had a Shandy IPA. Uh, now I think most of us all sort of know of a bit of Shandy, a lager Shandy, but my mate Dean got served up an IPA Shandy when he asked for a bit of Shandy and he said it was minging. So last week I had to pick up uh, an IPA some lemonade and uh, do an IPA shandy review and to be quite honest it it sort of the, the drink sort of started out okay and then got worse as it went on uh, and I got exactly what he meant when he was telling me about how bad it was this week I'm back with something a little bit different but samey now I know IPA shandies have actually been brewed they're in cans and that I am 99 0.9% well I'm 100% certain if somebody can prove me wrong on this I am 100% certain this drink that I'm going to do now is not a style it really isn't and I'll be very surprised if anyone's ever had it although someone probably will come out and say oh I've had one of them uh, so yeah what we got coming up is another shandy what sort of shandy have we got coming up see if this glass gives you a clue on the front that's it you got it we are doing <laughs> The Guinness Draft Pour Shandy. Now, I'm not particularly <laughs> keen on doing this one because if anything's going to make you throw up, I reckon a Guinness Shandy is the drink to do it. So, this was kindly given to me by uh, Stuart Josley. Uh, I've been working at his house this week, doing his all stairs and landing. Uh, and I, I, I know he likes Guinness and there's always a load in the fridge. So I said, Stuart, Give me a bloody Guinness because I'm going to do a review and I'll give you a shout out on my video. So there you go, Stuart. Your shout out's there. Guinness is here. I'm going to crack it open, pour it in, and then we're going to shandify it. So let's see what we get. I'm really not expecting too much. This is probably going to be awful. Now, I will wait for it to settle before I put the lemonade in. Obviously, this is not something that most people do, so I don't know what way you should do it. So I'm just going to go in for the, I'm just going to go in for the, of course it's going to be a bloody a Guinness top, I think. I'm just going to go in for the, letting it settle and then get the lemonade in there. But I reckon this is going to be minging. I mean, what do I think of a Guinness anyway? I just think it's drinkable. For me, it doesn't have an awful lot of flavour. When I reviewed it, it tasted like milk really with that creamy head very smooth and all that lot but uh we are getting there so once that settles nothing but the best for my beer reviews one stop sparkling lemonade is going in there we'll top it up and uh we'll see what we get i don't know what should i go for it now should i just top it up now is that near enough to top up yes that's near enough to top up so let's get in there jesus christ this could make me sick i seriously think <laughs> This just isn't a thing, is it? Guinness Shandy. It's going to take about a week, I think, for it to settle. So what I will do, I will pause it for now, try and get it up to a decent thing, and then we'll take the review from there. So back in a tick. So we're back. We are back here. I've managed to top it up. I've had to take the other for a little bit. I won't give you any clues, but I won't. <laughs> it was no Guinness. In a glass, I wouldn't even say that it's quite jet black. There's a bit of light bleeding through, but then you know, does it really matter? It's a shandy now. Uh, hasn't really changed the appearance too much, I don't think. Apart from there's a little white sort of thing on the top of the head there. While I was pouring the lemonade in, uh, not much point in sniffing it, is it? Because it's going to be what it is. All I can smell is a bit of Guinness and a bit of like sugary sort of. Sweet lemonade on top. So uh, without further ado, let's dive in. Quite possibly the first ever Guinness, Draft Guinness Shandy beer review. Cheers. Excuse me. That's all the lemonade in it, I do apologize. That isn't as bad as I was expecting. Now, 
I mean, I'm going to go in. So I don't know how much lemonade I've got in there. I'm going to top this up again. Because we seriously have to make this a shandy, don't we? We can't really have... It's, it's got to be sort of a little bit sort of watered down, if you like, hasn't it? So, uh, yeah. Let's go in again. Let's go and see what this tastes like. The head certainly changed a little bit there, so maybe the, the lemonade's starting to kick in. And in all honesty, I am very surprised, very surprised. I was expecting it to taste absolutely awful and minging. And it's not, it's not, certainly not from what I'm getting. You do pick the lemonade up in it, yeah, you do. You still sort of get that Guinness sort of taste, not that there's a lot in there, but you still sort of get that stouty taste, but it's a little bit less stouty, really. It's quite sweet now. The bitterness has gone because of the lemonade, which will have not much sugar in it, probably. Certainly more sort of lemonade flavour, but it hasn't made the stout disgusting. Uh, with the Shandy IPA, it sort of tasted just like a Shandy until the hoppy sort of bitterness kicked in on the end and it was a vile bitterness. Uh, but this, you are getting when you take that mouthful, you're getting an inkling of the Guinness. But then, like I said, it's more sort of lemonade and all sugary sort of thing, really. Uh, I don't know if I really want to finish it because I don't want to take the chance of downing it and then in about two hours throwing it all back up once I've had a few other beers. But uh, Guinness, draft Guinness out of a can, shandified with lemonade. I'm not saying it's nice, but it's not disgusting. Uh, I'm not gonna tell you it won't make you sick if you drink this, I don't know. Uh, but it isn't particularly vile. There doesn't seem to be anything sort of nut. It just tastes like a thinned down, watered down Guinness really. And that's about it. So, would I drink that again? No, absolutely not. What's the point in having a fucking Guinness and putting lemonade in it to drink on a session? Absolutely none. So for me, I've had worse, as in last week. Uh, this doesn't really, it doesn't change an awful lot. It just goes that little bit sweeter. So uh, if you want to go out there and give the old Guinness Shandy a try, feel free. If you have ever tried Guinness Shandy, let me know. I'll be very surprised if you had. I would think you were telling little porkies if you had. Uh, but if you have, tell me anyway. Uh, go and try it if you want to. If you want to waste a quid on a can or quid 50 on a can of Guinness and then bang a bit of lemonade in there, give it a try. Tell me what you think. So that's it for this weird beer, weird beer video number two, or beer style number two, Guinness Shandy. Hope you've enjoyed it. I know it's a bit odd, but what the hell. It's Friday, whatever you're drinking, enjoy it. Enjoy it sensibly. That's rich coming from me, isn't it? Uh, enjoy what you're drinking, enjoy your Friday night. That's it for this beer review. We're gonna come back with some proper beer reviews and I'll see you again on the next one. Cheers.